Hi, everyone, and good morning, and welcome to Beauty by Maria. Maybe it's not morning, it's maybe good evening, happy weekend, happy first of the month, happy end of the month, happy new year, whenever you're watching this video. Um, I wanted to do a quick impression on Annette's collaboration with Menagerie Cosmetics. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly or not, um, but it's the Serenity palette that she came out with. And I know that she was working very hard on this. Um, and look at this packaging. Look how beautiful it is. And it does have some weight to it. Um, and it does not have, it says it's pressed powders. There's not any, um, like what the actual powers are. It does. Oh no, it does. Okay. It does give you the different names of it, but I can't tell if it's on the which ones are which or whatever. Oh, now I do. Uh, butterflies make the world more colorful. So this is how the palette actually looks like. Ooh. And I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off. Uh, we have Tranquil, I love this one. Um, Butterfly Metamorphosis Evolution. This is really, really pretty. These, the, it just doesn't give it any justice, the colors. Um, I'm a go. Sunbeam Monarch New Crystals Morpho Cocoon and Luna. So these are the color palette. Um, I know they're kind of bright and like, oh my gosh, this is crazy, right? Sorry, my little Zumba thing, Zumba, whatever it's called, just kicked on. So I remember her saying on her video and you guys can look at her channel if you have not seen her. She is super sweet. She is very colorful in her selection of colors. So if you're looking for like a bold eye look, um, she is your girl. If you don't like bold eye looks, she is not your girl and she is very uh, frank about that during her video intros. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that my eyes, so I'm gonna use, one second, so I have this ready to go. Get my brushes ready, should have done this before that. Um, I'm going to use a perfecting concealer just to um, put as a base. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I remember her saying that some of her, um, because it's pigmented, it does stain. I just don't remember which ones they are. This is a Sigma, this is actually a large shader, but it's a flat brush. I love Sigma brushes. They are awesome. So I'm just gonna let that dry just a tiny bit. Again, this is first impressions. I have not tried these. I have not swatched these. Well, as you can see, the pan is untouched. So I am going to go with a light hand because I have things to do for the rest of the day. And I only have a few minutes to do that. And I'm all about hurrying up and getting things done. So I am going to use, let's see, which one I want to use. So I'm going to use the uh, Travel Wash Color by Scott Barnes. It looks like this. And I'm going to tap in with the, you know, I'm going to do the butterfly one as a base. Oh, wow, that's really pigmented. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, you guys are not seeing me. Sorry. Okay. And that is just a tiny bit like, wow. All right. So this look is going to be super easy to replicate. And again, I actually have things to do, so I don't want to overdo it. So far, it's really easy to work with. You really don't have to do much. 
So you just place it and just go for it. And you're probably thinking like, oh my gosh, Maria, what the heck? It's totally fine. Again, makeup is just fun with colors, right? And it's like buttery smooth. It doesn't feel like, I am like really impressed. I thought this was gonna be a lot harder um, to, to use, but wow, this is great. Okay, so base is down and I am going to see, I wonder, oh, look at that. Like, oh, you, can't, you guys can't see it, but it's like iridescent. Oh, that's like really green. And then we have the sunbeam. And then we have this mark. This purple is like calling my name. So I think I'm gonna use that purple. So I'm gonna do, actually, take this and just tap and just press it on and just to deepen the corner. Just kind of give it a shimmery look. Yeah, this is like very pigmented. Pigmented, go like that. You guys can, okay. All right. And, oh, well, it's like really pretty. Okay, so I actually think, actually, don't I think? I think I'm going to take my Precision Firm Blender, but I'm gonna take that uh, gold one here, just tap it and do it the inner corner, like so. Just tie it a little bit more. So pretty. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my finger. I'm going to just put this over the look. Ooh, you guys can see that. Really pretty iridescent. So you can, so, First impression so far, extremely pigmented. Like extremely pigmented, but with these other shades, you could line it up just a tad bit, which is good. So, not bad. So like this one is like, you wanna keep on playing with it. See it. I'm putting the yellow in the inner corner and bringing it to the center. Oh man, so pretty. Just do it over. Sometimes you just want to keep playing with color. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. And that beautifully done. Okay, so I think. That is it. I'm actually going to go with a stippling like little brush, like a little flat thing. It's not a little kabuki brush you would want to say. And I'm just going to go with like a light uh, beigey color, which is here. And I'm going to just buff that out. And the reason why I'm doing that is to soften the lines just a tad. And I wear glasses, you probably wouldn't even notice it, but you just never know. Some people have 20-20 vision, some people zoom in in your Zoom calls. So I'm not one of those people. Just good lighting and that's about it. So this is so far the look.
All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the look so you guys can see exactly the final look. Um, and I'll give you my final, final impressions of this uh, palette. Okay, so guys, here is the final eye look. I absolutely love this. I did get some smudging of my mascara just a tiny bit. Um, but overall, um, as you can see, it's like extremely pigmented to say the least. I feel like I did like a sunset type look. That iridescent like purplish color, like this color right here. I shouldn't say like a lot. Um, the Tranquil and the Sunbeam mix in together. Amazing. So basically to achieve this eye look, all I did was use a butterfly. I used this in my inner, in my outer corner just a tad bit. And then I went ahead and pressed the Tranquil all over my eyelid, a little bit above the crease. And I put this on top of that as well. And I created this look right here. Um, and then my inner corner, I went ahead and did Sunbeam as well. Um, it's kind of hard to tell a little bit with this lighting, but overall, I love this look. Annette, you knocked this out of the park. Again, if you are a lover of bold, pigmented, easy to use colors this palette is for you and i don't know if they're going to be restocking or not but i am so happy for you and that congratulations and i'm so happy i have my hands on this and it's in my collection all right guys i hope you guys have a lovely day and i will see you guys later bye